Dr. Eric here talking to you today about will testosterone supplementation help you with your infertility problem? I wanted to make sure that we had a chance to talk about this really important topic that I hear all the time from patients of mine, which is, I know I have a fertility problem, I've had my testosterone levels checked and they're either low or borderline low, they're normal, but low normal. Should I go on testosterone so that I can boost those levels and make myself super virile and super fertile? Really, this should be a short video because the answer is no, but I'm gonna explain to you why the answer is no and try and understand what treatment is appropriate and what treatment is not and why giving yourself testosterone injections or gels or patches is actually gonna make your problem worse. In order to understand this issue, we really have to take a look at how testosterone production occurs in the body. There are essentially two important factors to understand testosterone production. Number one is a hormone called luteinizing hormone, or LH, and the second is testosterone. A lot of guys call it T, I call it testosterone. LH and T have this very important balanced relationship. Looking at testosterone levels, when the testosterone level is low, we should see the LH level rise. And the same is true for the opposite. When the testosterone level is high, we should see the LH level go down, okay? This is important because the LH is produced in the brain in response to either high or low circulating or blood level testosterone levels. So when the blood level is low, again, your LH should be high. When the blood level is high, your LH should go down. So the brain is regulating the testosterone production in the testicles at all time by sampling the testosterone level in your veins. Now here's where the problem with giving yourself testosterone comes into play. The amount of testosterone in your bloodstream is much, much less than the amount of testosterone in the testicles themselves. And this makes sense because the testicle itself is the factory for testosterone production. The vast majority of testosterone in the body is made in the testicles. When the testosterone is made in the testicles, it makes sense that there would be a higher concentration of testosterone in the testicle than anywhere else in the body. Think about a factory that's putting out big smoggy pollution. You're gonna see a lot more pollution right around the factory than you are, say, a thousand miles away. The exact same thing is true with testosterone levels. The testosterone level in the testicles is going to be much higher than in the bloodstream. That very high level of testosterone, about a thousand times higher than is in the bloodstream, is what drives sperm production. When the testosterone level drops below that important threshold within the testicle, sperm production shuts off. So the problem with giving yourself testosterone is that you're giving that testosterone straight into the bloodstream one way or another, either through a patch or a gel or an injection, but the testicle itself is not seeing a huge rise in testosterone. Instead, the testosterone level in the testicle is gonna be the same as everywhere else in the body. And the reason that this happens is that the testosterone that you give yourself that gets into the bloodstream goes up to the brain, the brain senses it and says, we're making an appropriate level of testosterone, I can shut down the LH reflex that otherwise would have told the testicle to keep making testosterone. So that testosterone level's up, the LH level goes down, the LH that would have gone down to the testicle and told those cells, the Leydig cells in the testicle, to make more testosterone, that's gone. There's no more LH, so the production of testosterone in the testicle itself cuts off. It's gone. There is no more production in the testicle of testosterone. The only testosterone your body is now seeing is that testosterone that you're giving yourself. So again, the blood level will be appropriate, maybe even higher than where you started. Maybe you can get your level from 400 up to 1200, but the testicle is only going to see that 1200 instead of seeing a thousand times higher, which it needs in order to produce sperm. So giving yourself testosterone is actually going to completely shut off your body's own production of testosterone, and it's going to shut off your production of sperm. This is why testosterone should essentially never be given as a treatment for infertility, because it's really only going to make the problem worse. In my practice, I see a ton of guys who come in with infertility issues 
we go through their medication list and they're on testosterone because somebody that they saw out in the community told them their testosterone level was low so they needed to be on testosterone to get it up so that they could produce more sperm. Of course, what that practitioner didn't understand is that giving them the testosterone was actually gonna shut off the sperm production completely. There are ways to increase the testosterone level without turning off the testicular production of testosterone. The easiest thing to do is to look at natural ways of doing that. That would be things like exercising, eating a healthy diet, making sure your stress level is low, sleeping, all of those things that we associate with being healthy. Beyond that, when it comes to medications, remember, we're gonna steer you away from testosterone, but there are medications like clomiphene, which is a medication that acts centrally to increase the production of hormones in the pituitary that then drive the testicle to produce more testosterone. So it's actually not giving you testosterone, it's revving the engine of the testosterone producing cells in the testicles to increase their testosterone production. Hopefully this video has given you some information as to why testosterone is not the answer for your infertility problems. Although it may be part of the problem, supplementing with testosterone is not going to do anything. One final comment before the video is over. All of those supplements that you see at GNC or other vitamin stores that are supposed to increase your testosterone production, ignore them, they don't work, don't buy them, don't waste your money, they're not gonna do anything, leave them alone.